What's going on, everybody? Hey, guys. Welcome back to East Africa with Willie and Rachel. We, again, are super excited to be sitting with you. Yes, we are. Sharing the gospel with you. Praise God. And we love it. Hallelujah. Amen. Uh, today, we are continuing to talk about how the fact that God has a real character, yep. personality, and he desires for you to know him. Mm -hmm. And the fact that, Rachel, this is what separates someone from just having a assenting to something in their mind and saying like, yeah. oh yes, I yeah. know God, but, and those people who take time to just seek him. We're yeah. not saying, like, you, it, it's not up to us. You cannot go seek out God if he did not desire to be found, praise God. The whole point is that he's there. He's giving you a free will. He just wants you to turn your attention to him. Yeah. Seek him with your whole heart and he will absolutely transform your life. Mm -hmm. There is a salvation where you get born again and say, come into Christ and say, Lord, yeah. I want you as my Lord and Savior. That's awesome. You, that's the starting point, praise God. But then you have to realize that God wants you to understand him. Uh, he wants you to know him, praise yeah. God. Amen. And we talked about the excitement, uh, Rach, as far as like on the last uh, program, how that when you're a child, everything is so exciting because you're experiencing things for the first time, right? And you're ex everything seems new and, and, and bigger. And then people grow and, and their life becomes stagnant. Yeah. And they, were, they talk about, well, when I was a kid, no, no, no. God desires for you to be his child. He desires for your life to be so mm -hmm. exciting because as you're seeking him, he's expanding who you literally are on the inside. To a point to where you're experiencing new parts of him, seeing new things yeah. about him that is so magnificent. And you're experiencing day to day the plan he has yeah. for your life. Yeah. And he's pulling you out of your comfort zone. If your life, if you look at your life and you say it's boring, it's just stagnant, then I love you. And God loves you. But you need to be connecting with the Lord in the sense of on an emotional level. Because if you are... There's no such thing as a boring life. No, there's He's not. not created you no. to live a boring, mundane life. He's created you to take mountains. Yeah. He's created you to go far beyond what you could do in your own strength. Amen. And you know what? Too many people are struggling with feeling yeah. empty, meaningless, mm -hmm. bored, without purpose. Yes. Like you're saying like too many believers even are struggling with this, these thoughts and these feelings. That's so good. And you they know, really are. The thing is... One of the main, the reason why God has called us to connect with him is because when we are connecting with him, mm -hmm. we don't feel empty. Mm -hmm. We don't feel meaningless yeah. because we are connecting to the source of all life that says, I love you and I have given you things to do yeah. that actually are going to give you meaning. That's and help so you feel good. Full. Do you know that a lot of times people are so, mm. I just remember this up, they're so self-consumed, they're so mm. selfish. Honestly, I'm sorry to say that, but this is a self-consumed world. Yes. And people oftentimes like, I'm not happy. I don't feel whatever mm -hmm. because they, all they think about is himself. Mm -hmm. And do you know that Jesus gave us this life and this light? Not so that we could just sit here and be like, oh, I'm so happy and I love yeah. myself so much. Yeah. That's part of it. The other part is that we go out yes. and we find meaning mm -hmm. in loving people. Yeah. We find meaning in serving. We find meaning in giving. Yeah. We find meaning in all of these things where we feel full. Mm -hmm. Because life has not just become about us. We 100%. have connected to God. Yeah. Because he has said to us like, hey, I want to fill you up mm -hmm. so that yes. Uh, yes. you can go out. I'm sorry that's if I went on a little side route right there, right. but I was just thinking about no, this. No, that's a great point. Because, because go ahead. Uh, sorry, that, that's a great point because... Um, I'll talk to people when I start ministering to them, like, they'll be like, man, you're so excited about mm -hmm. life. And then I'll minister to them, like the motivation behind my excitement, yeah. right? To love, to this, to go out and they're like, that seems boring. Listen, <laughs> you want my, some people, a lot of people want my excitement, right? But then when I talk to them about what I'm excited about, they're like, well, that seems boring. Yeah. It's Wait a second. About, it's just it's, good. What, what's happening though is the no, reason people no. are so dry is you think, the people think they're going to find excitement in the world and what the world does, right. it sucks, sucks you dry. dry. It takes your giftings, mm -hmm. it steals from you, yeah. and it crushes you down. Yes. God is about the exact opposite. When yep. you start seeking him, it starts removing Amen. all those selfish motivations yeah. and starts implanting into your heart these yeah. magnificent things with that accompanies, oh, by the yeah. way, his grace to go accomplish it in his power. And you start to come alive, yeah. praise God. Yeah. It's looking away from who you are in the flesh, looking to who you are in Christ. Mm -hmm. It's looking away from what people can do for you and looking what you can do to others. It's a complete 
diffs, uh, a transformation starting from the inside and getting to the outside, and it comes alive. It does. And <clears throat> that is exactly what happens when you are coming mm. in contact. Amen with the Lord. Yeah. When you are fellowshipping with him, yeah. you know, it's not about just you. If you're always in prayer about you, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. And the things you want or need, there might be an issue. If you're in prayer about you, about how to love better, mm -hmm. like if I'm praying like, Lord, give me wisdom. Yeah. You said to ask mm -hmm. and you would give me wisdom on how to love my husband yeah. or how to raise my children or how to love my neighbor, or go to work, or do these things. You know what I'm saying? God so much desires that we connect with Him so that yeah. we are impactful Amen. in this world because He Amen. knows that when we come in contact with Him, we are changed. Yep. And that change is not for us to just keep to ourselves. Mm -hmm. It is to be the light yeah. in the world. Yeah. And if you're walking around as just a flicker, and you're constantly being overcome yeah. by the world, it's not, this is not to condemn you. It is to encourage you yes. to run to the father mm -hmm. and to spend time yeah. with him. You know, you cannot find God. I, I'm going to say this in part of it is joking. Part of it is total reality. You can't find God on Instagram. You can't find God on Facebook. Listen, I'm on. You can find me, yes. but you can't find God. No, because we're on Instagram, we're on Facebook. We like social media to be a light to the world and to be a light and to be an encouragement to you. However, all the encouraging yeah. is to encourage you of what your life can be in mm -hmm. Christ, of what, your, of what love looks like, of, of what God wants to do in your life, these types of things. That's what yeah. we're doing. And yet, it's also that you'll now go connect to God. That's it. But you have to take the time to connect with God. Yeah. Like, even these programs. Like, we're preaching the Word of God yeah. to you, praise God. But all of it is so that you now will go connect with Him. That you'll take these truths and say, yes, that's what I want my life to be. Yeah. And to see that God is no respecter of persons. Yeah. And if He ever did anything in our life, He'll do it in your life. And if He does anything in your life, He'll do it for us. He's that big. Yeah. He's that great. And He desires to exalt inside of you an understanding. Mm -hmm. To rise to the top an understanding mm -hmm. of who you are of what love is and yeah. he desires to call you out you know yes. i was just reading rachel in luke that. chapter 5 where jesus gets in peter's uh boat and he's preaching from peter's boat onto the shores and then he tells them okay now go and cast out your nets for a catch yeah. and peter says i've been fishing all night again it's amazing that he got into peter's boat just to, to be so he could preach to the multitudes but then like peter's life couldn't help but be drastically changed Drastically. He says, no, we've been fishing all night. He tells him to throw down. He sees this absolute miracle yeah. of so many fish that it's sinking the boat, which I can guarantee had never happened to Peter before. So much to where he falls down at Jesus' feet and he says, you know, oh, my Lord, my God, me. apart yeah. from me, you know, I'm awesome. a sinner. Yep. He's totally humbled. Totally humbled. And he wouldn't have seen any of that. But the, why did he see it? Why did he experience that? Was he seeking God how to catch fish? No, he was just seeking God. He just allowed God into his life. Yeah, that's so good. And it changed everything. Yeah. Listen, God, when you start to connect with him and just seeking him and just fellowshipping with him is what I mean by connecting with him, then it changes everything. Yep. Will you humble yourself and say, Lord, I want you in my boat. Yeah. And I want my boat so to be good. about your you. Then it changes everything. Yeah. I mean everything. Wow. You go from being bored to not being bored. But you, it is up to you to take your attention, your mm -hmm. focus, and, fo and fix it on it. Amen. That is so good, you guys. All right. So we encourage you yeah. today and just the rest of this mm -hmm. week to open your heart Amen. to the Lord and to say, here I am. That's yes. all. It's just, here I am, mm -hmm. Father. Amen. And he will meet you right That's so good. there. And by faith. Yes. Can I say one more thing? Yeah. Is it like what you just said. It's just making yourself available. Absolutely. Saying, Lord, I'm setting out a little bit of time for you. Yep. I'm going to pray. I'm just going to read the, read the word. I'm going to meditate on your scripture. I'm going to put, gonna the, first put first. the spirit of God first in my life. Mm -hmm. And as you do that, you know, you draw yep. near to God. He will draw he near will. to you. He will. And you need to put your faith in that fact that mm -hmm. he is there. He desires yep. to meet you there. Amen. That's what he wants. All right, you guys. Amen. Hey, please connect with us. Yes. On WhatsApp. Any prayer requests? Yes. Send them to us, praise God. We're in this with you. Hallelujah. All right, we want to hear from you. We yes. love you. We'll see you next time. See you guys.